Hello everybody, I am Razorblade Mango, and this is The Walking Dead Michonne, episode 1, In Too Deep. Uh, I'm probably not going to cover the other two episodes that are going to come out for this series, just, you know, just because of spoilers and stuff like that. And even for the sake of this video, um, I'm not going to turn on the subtitles, and I'm not going to have the volume very loud on the game. Because I know people out there are a little, you know, particularly stingy when it comes to Telltale game spoilers. Which, you know, being a huge Telltale fan myself, I really don't blame you. So I'm going to respect the wishes of the fans and keep the volume down to its, you know, to the bare minimum. So, uh, as I've said many times in the past, I am a huge Telltale fan. I think they are one of the very best storytellers in the gaming industry. I think most of the series that they've done have been uniformly excellent, and it really amazes me. I know they, they get criticized a lot for pumping out games and announcing new games when they haven't even finished the other ones, which, by the way, tells I'm, I'm still waiting for Minecraft Episode 5. I, I hope you haven't forgotten about that. So... Uh, but you know what? They they bring them out with such consistency and like such an excellent quality that I really don't mind that they make more of these, especially if they're The Walking Dead, which is what I think is Telltale's crowning jewel. I still think Season 1 is the best thing they've ever done. Uh, season 2 is, is great. I don't think it holds up as well a second time as it did the first time. And if you guys remember, the first, the uh, season two was my favorite game of 2014. And I was really looking forward to this because uh, Walking Dead is where they are, Telltale seems to be at their best. Like they bring out their best writing, their best voice acting, their best characters with this series. And thankfully, that mostly holds up with The Walking Dead Michonne. Now, I don't think Michonne is as brilliant as Season 1 or Season 2, but I do think it is a very good start to what will hopefully be a really good series. And uh, what I find very interesting about this game particularly is not only does it, of course, bring the zombie horror stuff in with the, the brain splattering, limb hacking, killing stuff, there's also an element of psychological terror with this, with what you're seeing currently right now, uh, with Michonne literally being haunted by the ghosts of her past. Um, there's even points in the game where she starts to experience some post-traumatic stress disorder, and she hallucinates, and it's, it's, it is pretty damn effective. It's rather creepy and unsettling. Um, and I, I'm not all that familiar with Michonne. I, I, I assume she's a fan favorite because I think she's a very good, interesting character from this series. Um, but I have heard that she is one of the best characters in the show and I guess in the comics. Because, uh, you know, truth be told, I really don't like The Walking Dead. I don't care about the comics or the, or the show. Truth be told, I don't even really like zombie stuff to begin with. It's probably one of my least favorite horror subgenres. Um, but... What's so cool about Telltale is that they have managed to make me interested, and this is proven true with a, lot, a number of their series that feature properties that I really don't care about. You know, I really don't care about Borderlands, I really don't care about Game of Thrones, I really don't care about Minecraft or The Walking Dead, but they uh, just, uh, they've done it time and time again where they've made really excellent stuff out of properties that I don't care for and they've made me care which is pretty incredible uh and you know Michonne you know if you were to tell me you know hey she's a fan favorite character and I had just played this I would believe you and if someone were to tell me that right now I would totally believe them I definitely think even if you have no knowledge of the show no knowledge of the comic book Telltale was absolutely right that you would be able to get into this even without past, you know, past knowledge of the series or the franchise or, or whatever. You don't even need to play Telltale's games to really enjoy this. This is its own, so far, it's its own standalone thing, and it's really cool. 
And I like that they're going for a mini-series approach this time around because the pacing seems a lot tighter. Yes, it starts out rather slow. It starts out, you know, like you know most of them do with the character building and stuff like that, which people seem to be complaining about. I honestly don't have a problem with it because I think the writing is still great. I still think the, the characters are interesting. So, yeah, I like it a lot. Um... Also, I think there are some improvements with the interface. Uh, like, as you've seen, the button prompts are a lot more pronounced than they usually are in Telltale games. Which, uh, I don't know if that's true with the Xbox version, the PC version, but at least with the PlayStation version, like, the when you see, like, X and Square and Triangle and stuff like that, it doesn't have that, you know, very uh, faded through look to it. It has a more bold bold color scheme which makes it more pronounced and it stands out and it allows you to focus more on the action because it's made more clear what you need to press in order to not die which i like i like the i like that improvement i also like the ch the constant change in location in this game uh i mean it's got more of a like a, a sea based storytelling sea based location than you know the past games have had where it's like the walking dead uh season two and season one they focus a lot on the countryside they focus a lot on the city the urban environment and this is more of the sea which i think is an interesting change of pace for the walking dead you know i mean you get the occasional you know sea stuff like in episode in uh, season one when they visit that town with by the harbor but you get a lot of that in this. I mean, later on in the in the episode, you visit like a a boat graveyard. You visit a ferry, and it, it's it's really cool. It, it definitely gives the Walking Dead. It still has that Walking Dead vibe to it, but it adds another layer of you know like a, a new kind of atmosphere, which is cool. Um, but if I were to have any complaints about uh, Michonne. Uh, I do think this engine is definitely starting to show its age. I hope Telltale abandons this engine at some point. It's really not doing their games any favors. I mean, it is still, it still can get laggy. Even with the, even with the now, you know, mandatory uh, placement on next-gen consoles and then better PC rigs, it still has that stuttering, it still has that pop-in, it still has those occasional frame rate issues, has some really bad lip syncing at times. I mean, it, it, it still looks nice, and I still like the comic book vibe that they go for, but this engine needs to be scrapped. They need to come up with something better, and I hope they do that before Batman comes out, or, or whatever they're working on with Marvel, or whatever. I just, I hope they they bring in a new engine, get rid of the PS3 and the Xbox 360 stuff, because, I'm sorry, that, like, bringing it to those consoles is not doing these series any favors. So, I mean, and I, I, I'd hate, you know, I hate to be like, you know, limit the audience of these games, because, you know, these, I think these games deserve all the attention they get, um, and more so, but for the sake of making the game feel smoother, play smoother, I think they need to finally cut the ties on past gen stuff and move on to next gen consoles alone. Cut the handheld stuff. Just just do it on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. I think we'll I, hopefully we'll get more like better visuals and stuff like that. Better frame rate, less audio clipping, less bad lip syncing. It it needs to be scrapped at this point. The engine needs to be scrapped. And the, the inferior uh, ports need to be left behind. It's because it's not doing this game any favors. And it's dragging down the PC and PS4 versions. And Xbox One, of course. Um, but yeah, that's really all I got to say about The Walking Dead Michonne. I think it's really good. I think the characters are very interesting. It's got that very awesome telltale aesthetic to it. Um... Some of the choices you have to make are indeed rather interesting. It has one hell of an ending. At least my ending was was really, really exciting. And 
if you're if you're playing through this <clears throat> through it and thinking, oh, this is so boring. This is when's it gonna get good? Trust me, it gets good at the end really fucking quick. So definitely look forward to that. Uh, and the villains are awesome, which uh, they remind me a lot of Carver from. The Walking Dead Season 2, who I think was easily the best villain in this series. And now we kind of have two versions of him, which is awesome. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think of The Walking Dead and Michonne. And as always, you know, uh, yeah, have a good one. Take care.